Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the A10C2 tank killer and we're looking at the AGM 65 Lima Mavericks, the laser guided variants. We can have the Mavericks on pylons 3 and 9 and you can only have one Maverick per pylon which gives a total of two Mavericks. They're large Mavericks with around a 300 pound warhead. As with any laser guided weapon, we're going to need a designating laser to guide them in. We can laser ourselves with T-Pod or we can rely on a third party buddy laser. Before we use them, we need to power them on. We would usually do this just before we're ready to use them. But in this case, just to make it easy, with the hard soy, which it is because we've got an asterisk here, we'll press coolly left short to go to the MAV screen and power them on, EO, on. You can see that we've got a line here and we've got the time here since the power on happened in seconds, minutes and hours. If I were to speed it forward, you can see it's going to take around. There you go. If I turn master arm on, you can see it. we're good and ready to go. To fire the weapon, press and hold weapon release. Coolie switch right short to cycle between MFD screens on the right MFD. Left short to cycle between the left MFD screens. Left long to make this screen soy at the center of interest so we can work on that screen and of course right long so that we can make this screen soy and work on this screen boat switch aft and forwards we can use this to cycle between white hot and black hot in the tgp dms data management switch we've got forward and aft i'm going to be using them to zoom in and zoom out on the tgp left and right are going to be for my weapon selection next the tms controls we're only going to use forward and it's forward short to gain a point track on the tgp and then our nosal steering which is going to fire our designating laser and finally, our axis controls, we must have HOTAS slew, horizontal HOTAS slew, vertical. Got one axis going that way, one axis going that way. We're airborne now. The target's about four miles off the nose. The condition of our plane, master arm on, laser on, TGP on and warmed up. And the missiles are also still powered on. First of all, we need to find our target. So we're going to go air to ground on the TGP on the right screen in this case. Now we know that we're going to be using the laser in this case so we're going to go to control. Two things we'd like to change here. First turn the laser latch on. This means that the usage of the laser instead of being push and hold is now modal. So we can turn it on and turn it off again. Next in this scenario I want to show you that we can change the laser code of the TGP and the missile. Currently 1688 in this case. I want to change that to 1588. So 1588 in the UFC. Click there. Laser designator now 1588. Latch on. Return to the main TGP screen. Now let's find a target. So we need to ensure this screen here is soy, a center of interest, by coolly right long. It's now framed in green. It's soy. We can now use the slew axes to find the target. Also represented in the HUD by a diamond. And you got some targets there. So I'm just going to move on top that target let's look in the TGP the green crosses are because the teapot knows that they are friendly and I put friendlies in so that I've got plenty of time to sit and talk to you I'm going to zoom in with DMS forward slew to center mass of the vehicle I'm going to TMS forward short to create a point track because this guy might be moving and we're done there next we need to set up our mavericks so over to the dsms page you can see our mavericks the lima versions are standby essentially ready for use and have prf 1688 that won't do so inventory select the missile in question missile codes currently 1688 so let's change that 1588 click on the code 1588 i need to load it but I'm going to load it to the station 3 and 9, so a symmetrical load there. Load it, back out to the DSMS, check the codes, and they're 1588. Next, I want to go to the MAV screen. So MAV here, and I'm going to make this screen soy so that we can work on this screen with coolie left long framed. Next, I want to show that we can change the PRF code here using just the HOTAS. So using the boat forward and aft, input forward will allow me to change which digit I'm interested in and then aft will actually change the digit so you can see if we wanted to do it all hands off we could do it like that EO is just showing that we're powered on bore adjuster and slew rate here are not really relevant to the Lima version again we can see the time since we powered on 
We have our attitude indicator and our altitude in hundreds of feet. We're looking through missile on station 9 at the moment. The cross is showing where the seeker head of that missile is aiming at the moment. And that seeker head is not necessarily linked to, to the bore site of the missile, which is hard to fix to the plane, which is represented by this big crosshair guy here. Before we actually use the weapon, I want to show the search pattern. So with the mouth page soy, I can press TMS forward short. What we get here is the seeker head of the missile searching left and right in a pattern looking for PRF code 1588. We can stop it searching and re -borsite. In fact, we can stop it searching again with a TMS short and we can re it with China hat half short. Instead of using the search pattern, we could also aim the seeker directly at a speed, a sensor point of interest. We won't be doing that today. If we had a speed set up, then we would be soy in this left screen here and we would use China hat forward long to slave it directly to that speed. Just another way of doing it. Time to actually use the weapon. So first we need to select the weapon. So let's make HUD soy with coolie up short. HUD is now soy. We want to select the weapon with DMS left and right. Okay, we've selected Maverick here, armed and ready to fire. Note that we get a dynamic launch zone added and we've changed to station three, but we still don't have a laser out there yet. So we do not have the correct target. What we're gonna do next is set the Maverick searching again then we're going to fire the laser and watch it pick up the laser. So we're going to make the left screen soy again. TMS up to set it searching. And we're going to fire the laser now. We can check that the laser is firing because the L will be flashing. And you can see it's picked the target up. We know we've got a positive 1588 lock because from the ball sight of the missile here, the seeker head is locked here with a big white block. Note also our dynamic launch zone, showing a distance of zero there, around 15 miles there. Our max here, the maximum distance we can fire the weapon, our min, the minimum distance we can fire the weapon, and our current distance of 4.5 miles. So we're good to fire there. Note also, we've got symbology repeated in the HUD. So this, what we call the wagon wheel, is where the seeker head of the currently selected Maverick is pointing. The diamond is where the teapot is pointing, the same place, obviously, and the range of 4.5 miles. And pause, check the laser still firing, and it is, and weapon release. That's going to be one dead Vic. Kaboomy! Let's show against a moving target. So, soy over to our CGP, and we need to go and find a moving target. So just bear with me while I do that. Aha! We got some birdies here. Zoom in. IR is going to make it much easier than uh, TV. So, we're going to use the boat switch to. There we go. Black Hot will be fine. Uh, that guy is automatically picked up, so I can work with that. Fire the laser, soy over to this side. This time we're watching the HUD and TMS up sh forward short. See it traps the target. There is our dynamic launch zone. We're all good to fire and fire. And my friend, that's the end of your day. 300 pounds of boom boom. And that's it. It's an overview of how to use the AGM 65 Lima. I hope that was useful and see you later.